are you able to cope better? What you've developed over time are what we call defense mechanisms, ways of dealing with things in your life. Some people do it by avoiding, avoiding. Some people do it by uh, intellectualization. Some people do it by um, what we call sublimation. You, you do something else instead of that. Yeah, so what happens is that over, your, over the years, as you've dealt with many traumas in your lifetime, you learn to cope with things in a different manner, and therefore you may be able to cope better with a situation like this as you, you've had more experience. So some people with more experience in having a lot of things happen to themselves in their lives, yes, they probably have good defense mechanisms to cope better. Whereas, but there are people who have had traumas early in their life, and what happens is this revives those traumas, and then their coping mechanisms are not so good because they never were good to start with. Yes. I was going to ask, um, when you were speaking about the news, I had not heard that before. When you heard all the suspicious tactics or the suspicious powder, is there anything in the news that a person should look for or a tell summary that should make them suspicious? I'm not that I'm aware of. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the spores are, are so tiny that, that we really would never be able to pick them up. Um, they, they, they say that it can be transmitted from undercooked meats, as we ingested it the, uh, in uh, gastrointestinal form. But uh, it's not to my knowledge that, that you can actually see uh, an infected piece of, uh, of meat from undercooked meat. Um, I, I, I highly doubt it. It should. In general, for all uh, preventing all kinds of disease. Yes, ma'am. My auntie said that once I had to walk through a wine house, and she was sitting outside in the front door of the wine house that I had to complain on. So I complained on it, and when she was in the heart building, and uh, they tested her for handcuffs, uh, now it seems like it was either fourth or fifth floor, she, she was just on the first. But how do you deal with the anxiety of, is there any way to handle the stress of worrying about her up there? She's oh. not going to leave the job. Well, you have to recognize that they're doing the most, the one thing we, I may not have said before, you got to look at the facts of the situation. The facts are, that plane crashed, it's done, it's over. We're now being much more, we're being much more aware of of our security on the air, at the airports. Uh, they kept National Airport closed for several weeks, uh, and they just recently opened it. So they, I'm sure the airports, especially in Washington, D.C., are incredibly secure. So these things are not going to happen so fast again there. Uh, if they're going to be something, it'll be something else. It's not going to be an airplane. Uh, in terms of, uh, uh, in terms of your daughter's building, they already checked that out. That's something that's already been taken care of. She, and she's probably been examining that she doesn't have those kinds of uh, any symptoms or uh, any scores. So the basic thing is you have to recognize, okay, if any place, Washington, D.C. probably be one of the most secure places because our government's there and because we are so cautious. Uh, it's probably going to be you know, safer than most cities because we are going to have to recognize that she's in the best hands.